Hey crafty friends, hi, thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well. Um, today I'm going to make an altered uh, steampunk tin box. I'm recycling a box full of, uh, that was full of sweets, which I didn't eat. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're, I'm going to start by uh, adhering some uh, metal pieces to the lid of the box just small rings, metal rings. I'm getting all my metal embellishments. I have a treasure box and I collect them from uh, DIY stores and my mechanic and places like that. So now I'm taking aluminum foil and I'm going to glue it to the lid of the box and basically I'm going to create a pattern with those metal embellishments that I put before they're going to be raised I'm going to use the edge of, uh, of my brush and I'm just pressing the aluminum foil around these embellishments and creating a pattern on the lid. Of course the aluminum foil also wrinkles and we want it to wrinkles because that is what's going to give us the texture that we want. So I'm just pressing everything. If you have a tear, you just tear uh, another small piece of aluminum foil and just glue it on the on the tear. We're going to to color everything later with some paint so it's not going to be visible. Now uh, some more glue around the edges and cover the edges with the aluminum foil. Now for the for the box itself, I'm only going to glue the aluminum foil uh, not over the part where the lid is going to uh, close because it's going to be a problem to close it with the aluminum foil. So I'm leaving that without anything, just like this. So I'll have no problem closing it later just going around the box with the foil Make sure, making sure it's glued really well cutting everything again I don't want a lot of uh, to leave a big margin of aluminum foil I don't want to to have a big edge because then if I fold it in it's going to later interfere with the uh, it's going to prevent me from closing it properly so I'm cutting the aluminum foil as close as I can to the edge and then I'm folding it in so it won't be a thick layer just a nice finish Now we have both parts ready, or not. Here we don't have a problem folding everything, the edges. And I know the bottom part is never visible, but still I like to put some aluminum foil on the bottom of the box as well, since I'm covering it, so I want to cover everything. So I'm adding some aluminum foil to the bottom of the tin box as well. So now we have both parts ready and we're going to start uh, painting. 
I'm using gold acrylic paint. Actually, it doesn't really matter what kind of uh, what color you use as the base coat, but just in case um, that the black coat of paint that we're going to put at the end is not very didn't cover everything. I always like to use gold on the bottom. This way, if there are parts that I didn't cover with the black, then I will see gold underneath so instead of the silver so um, you can do red you can do whatever color you want I like to use gold so we're covering everything with the gold paint as you can see the first coat doesn't cover everything really well but that's okay because that's aluminum foil and it's not supposed to cover everything So, painting the box as well, all the edges, just where you have aluminum foil. And I'm going to dry it with the heat gun. And after it's dry, paint it with another coat of gold paint. So this, this is a much better coverage now on the second coat. And when we'll do the third coat of paint, which is going to be black, you'll see that it's going to be completely covered. So just covering everything with the paint, getting the fingers dirty, just as we like it. on the box itself as well. I'm leaving the edges of the box with no paint because that is where the lid is supposed to be when we close it. Dry it again and when it's dry we're uh, going to do the black coat of paint and I'm going to use a sponge for it not the brush I'm going to dab the black acrylic paint on the lid and the box. This way it will cover all the nooks and crannies and all the bumps that we created before. So just go over the entire lid with a sponge. and the box. Now I'm covering this is the I'm covering the the entire box. It's going to be a very very thin coat of paint so it will not interfere with me closing the the box later. And I don't need texture on that place where I'm closing it so it's just paint and that's it. And I know it's the bottom of the box, but I always like to do the bottom of the box too. You don't have to. So now we're going to add some gold accents. I'm using Perfect Pearls. And this is a mixture I've kind of developed. I'm using, I'm taking a bottle cap, putting a little bit of Perfect Pearls and alcohol ink. I'm mixing them together because I want to create a paste and then I'm putting a little bit a tiny bit of glue I'm adding a little bit of glue see just that little spot this will make it pasty and it will let it dry very fast and this is my own invention of a you can say maybe patina paste it's kind of, of a patina paste so now with my finger I'm going over the lid all the embellishments are now really visible gives it a really nice 
accent also the edges and my nails are bothering me so I'm just taking everything out on the stick and take it from there so all over the box as well now basically you can stop here and for maybe for some of you this will be these embellishments are enough and for some of you this box is ready and that's perfectly fine but for me I like to add much more embellishments on top so I'm bringing some metal embellishments that I'm going to um, dye with alcohol ink and embossing powder basically I want all my metal embellishments to have the same color so I'm adding alcohol ink and they all become kind of a rusty coppery color I'm just putting a little bit of alcohol ink on the metal embellishments I have a key there and all kinds of stuff and with my rubbing my finger on it and coloring it so you see instead of silver I now have a rusty coppery flower uh, color I saw the flower and that's the word that came to my mind adding another shade of copper And then of course you have to dry them with your heat tool after they're dry I'm going to take the larger pieces of metal I'm going to emboss them the way I do it is I heat them a lot with the heat tool until they're very very hot you have to be very careful um, and then I sprinkle the embossing powder on top and it sticks to them because they're so hot and after it sticks to them I heat them again with the tool gun and the powder melts and they have this amazing embossed effect on them now if you think it's not enough you can heat them again and sprinkle some more embossing powder and be careful not to touch them when they're hot so you won't get burned trust me they get really really hot it's metal so so I'm just adding a little bit more embossing powder you can see the effect it's really cool And if you want to control where the effect is and where the embossing powder is, you have to do it embellishment by embellishment and not all of them together because they get really hot very fast, but they also cool down very fast. And if they're already cool, then the embossing powder would not stick to them and you won't be able to do that. And when you go one by one, then you have more control of where you sprinkle the powder it's a really really cool effect I really like it so now we're going to start building layers of embellishments on the lid of the box just adding layers of the embellishments And like I said, I really find these embellishments anywhere. I can even go on the street in an industrial zone or something, and I find something 
on the road or a nail or a metal ring or a screw or something and I'll pick it up and I'm doing it for a while and now I have a big collection of stuff I go to flea markets and I find all kind of treasures my mechanic sometimes bring me stuff and now I have a, a treasure box full of those things so I, I don't even need to buy them I just use whatever scrap I find scraps of metal that I find here and there so I'm just adding more and more pieces and the small pieces that before we I added some alcohol ink to them sometimes I think I'm going to use a piece and then I decided not to so sometimes I have stuff on my table but then you see that I'm not adding them it's because I changed my mind <laughs> I think they won't look good so I at the end I'm not using them but that's a designer uh, prerogative to change their minds right we can change our mind whenever we want so keys I have old suitcase keys and keys I found in flea markets and old keys from old doors and stuff like that a button a metal button uh, all kinds of stuff so whenever you find junk keep it don't throw it away it will look nice on your altered tin box so basically I think I like this result you have to let it dry a little bit before you close the the lid on the box this is how it looks with all the treasures on top and thanks you very much for watching and thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you all next time have a great day